Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm gonna be working on a piece of Alaskan birch and my friend Mitchell Sanders gave it to me about a year ago. He brought it all the way from Alaska. He goes uh, back and forth over there. But um, got me a wood worm screw old drilled in it. It's about 17 and a half, 18 to the longest points on it. But uh, let's get it on here and see what we can make out of it. There's some pretty neat looking grain in there. There's a lot of worms been eating on this thing. They've left their debris in there. And when I hit it to chisel, it creates a dust storm. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, this goes, this goes in there pretty far and it's, uh, place here and I'd like to keep it as wide as a bow as I could but I don't know I might end up making it a little more 
smaller diameter, a lot of this bark, it ain't, it ain't gonna stay on, I don't believe. Probably just pull the rest of it off so it don't fly off. But um, we'll get back going on it. I got me a recess in it and I sanded it a little bit. Majored from the inside of the recess to the top here is four and a quarter thick. So we'll go down as deep as we can and not go through the bottom of it, hopefully. I was gonna core it, but I don't believe the wood's strong enough to hold that span the chuck in there and that coring system it puts a lot of stress on it, so I believe it would just end up breaking out. So I'm just not going to do that. But we're just going to turn the inside out, and we'll see how it goes.
Still got a little ways to go on this. I just measured the outer walls here from the inside to the outside. It's about still, it's an inch and the sixteenth thick. So uh, I may take off another half inch, five eighths or something like that. Off the depth, I'd made this little uh, groove right there, but it's probably gonna be cutting it out, the whole thickness of that. Uh, anyway, I didn't realize the sidewalls was that thick. I've cut down about three inches on the uh, depth of the bottom, so I got another inch to uh, cut around with, maybe three, three quarters or so. Uh, I don't want to go through the bottom of it. We'll take it as far as we can, though. I was going to get it back going, but the power's off. I don't know why it's went off. But uh, it's a beautiful day. There ain't no reason it seems to why it would have went off, but who knows. It also went off Thursday morning, stayed off a little over two hours for some reason. But uh, anyway, we'll get it back going as soon as the power's back. <laughs> the side of it in this little bark enclosure here and uh, I'm going to have to be real careful because I ain't nothing but bark holding that on and on the other side just a thin uh, well you can see right there it's uh, bark there, so I just need to be careful with it. It's just not got a whole lot of uh, wood holding it in bark. Bark will break real easy. So uh, just going to clean the sides up. And I got them down probably, probably a half inch or something anyway. But I'm going to go down some more on the bottom and, uh, and clean it. Make, try to make a good clean cut and then we'll sand it and put a finish on it.
finally got it finished up. Got a good coat of finish on it. And, um, did a little bit of glazing on it. I almost decided to put some resin in there, but I just couldn't do it. I think it looks pretty neat like that. But um, I put a uh, brush coated, good heavy coat of this on both sides of it. Then I gave it a good sanding and then I spray coated it with the spray, spray can shellac. And I had a little bit of trouble when I first started using this uh, finish here. I tried spraying this stuff through a spray gun with it, could never get it slick. And uh, it's, it just, and it just, and I don't know, I couldn't ever get it to work out right and about gave up on it, but it just kept messing with this stuff. My experience with this finish is uh, just brush coat on, a good heavy coat with this. Let it dry a whole entire day. Don't touch it to the next day and sand it real good. And then put three or four coats on with this. And from my experience, that's been working pretty good. But I never could just use this and uh, get it. I mean, it would look good, but it wouldn't ever be slick. Also, I couldn't use just this by itself. It seemed to take lots of coats, it don't, and it soaks it up different in different places. Um, probably because, I don't know, maybe the density of the wood or, or probably a lot of different reasons, but this is also thinned down. But I couldn't ever get a good finish on with it from my experience uh, I had to use the gallon brush on get it coated and the gallon it just seems to uh, you brush it on it's thick it gets it good um, covered equally pretty much everywhere and sanded then 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 you use this but that's my experience on it but just thought I would share that with you I'm bad to just uh, finish up and not show a whole lot about the finishes, but I'll need to uh, show or tell a little bit about that. I'm sorry, and did that. But this uh, rim, after I got a good coat of that brush on coat, I had sanded it. Um, I Put a coat of, uh, well, I didn't coat it. I just kind of sprayed the rim of this with this Rust-Oleum Brown, leather brown, and mineral spirits. I wiped the excess off with mineral spirits because it did go all over it. It might have darkened the grain a little bit in places, but if you got a good coat on it, you can wipe the excess off with mineral spirits. If not, it's just going to go directly in the wood and you'll have to sand it off. But I wanted to uh, highlight the rim. I did spray it in these worm holes and try to highlight those, darken those all up because they was uh, white. Didn't, wouldn't be able to see them all that good. But I just highlighted every one of those, sprayed it and wiped it off with the uh, Mineral spirits, and then after that, I coated it a time or two with that shellac and sprayed shellac over top of that. And uh, this thing had some beautiful grain in it when I started turning it, and I think I sowed most of the beautiful grain out in the floor and sawdust shavings. And uh, I felt like if I cored it, this would have broken out, which has got all these worm holes and it's, it's weak and all, and it probably would have broke, but probably if I'd have turned it and made this to bottom and come in from this side, 
this was definitely a lot had a lot more strength it was it was pretty pretty dang hard and i probably could have covered it if i'd have went from the other side but anyway that's the way it went but anyway let me know what you think about this thing and what you might have did or what not have did or um there's a piece of fuzz in there but anyway i guess that's about it and um sorry this type meal pretty good in a long while to get something done i almost forgot i thought about making a lamp mushroom lamp out of it i uh, just been working on and off on it and i just about forgot anyway let me know what y'all think about that that idea it's uh it kind of reminded me of a mushroom.